Long story short, the Basque cheesecake was created in 1990 in San Sebastian, Spain. Unlike classic New York cheesecake, Basque cheesecake is crustless and isn't smooth or dense. Instead, it is finished baking in half the time compared to the regular cheesecake, but at a higher temperature to achieve that rich, lightly scorched surface. That's the real deal. Before we start, I want to point out that the Basque cheesecake we are going to make right now is not the traditional recipe, meaning that heavy cream is replaced by a custard, which lowers the calories without compromising the final texture. And that was the challenge. I am happy to say that the result has exceeded my expectations. So first in the agenda, you want to smooth out the room temperature cream cheese with vanilla, lemon zest and sugar and let the mixer run for as long as you need, no rush. Meanwhile, I am going to focus on the custard, pastry cream, crème pâtissière in French. Beat together four egg yolks and one egg. Save the egg whites for the cream cheese. Add sugar, flour and cornstarch. By the way, if you want to make this cake gluten-free, use cornstarch only. When milk is boiling, temper the egg mixture. Return to the stove, bring to a boil and cook custard for two minutes, whisking constantly. You know, crème pâtissière, pastry cream, is the most versatile staple of many French pastries. You can now add the Basque cheesecake to the list. So as soon as the pastry cream is cooked, I remove it from the heat and then I'm going to throw in there the chilled cream cheese I saved earlier. Blend well using your immersion blender and set aside. Now let's go back to the still running cream cheese mixture. I'm going to add the egg whites and continue to beat until smooth. Then swap the cream cheese mixture with uh, the pastry cream and let it run until until the custard is at room temperature. And by the way, the secret ingredient here, a few drops of almond extract. You know what's gonna happen next, right? You got that right. We are going to incorporate the cream cheese mixture into the pastry cream. Now, full blast. That is called the perfect chemistry. Fill up, prepare the pan and bake at 550 degrees Fahrenheit to 90 Celsius for about 25 minutes. Keep an eye on it and once your cheesecake achieves a dark surface on top, immediately take it out of the oven. Great news, you can use a spring form cake pan or a charlotte cake ring. To get the full recipe and much more, go to my website brunoalbouz.com. Don't forget to subscribe to my cooking channel and website. And please sign up in order to get my free ebook. Have a beautiful Basque cheesecake day. Bon appétit. Maman. <laughs> This is insane.